Good morning, Class 3. Hope you all are well and safe at your homes. Now come back to your sunshine chapter number 1, exercise work. Come to the page where we left yesterday. Reference to context. Read these sentences and answer the questions that follow. But, but, this fountain is not made of gold, nor does it have golden water. It is made of stone and has plain water. Whose words are these? Whose words are these? These are Sana's words. Don't write. I'll tell you when to write and how to write. B part. Which fountain is being talked about here? The fountain in the house on the hill right in front of our house is being talked about here. Third, why did the speaker say so? The speaker said so because she was shocked to discover that the fountain was not golden. Fourth, what did the speaker realize? The speaker realized that the sun rays made the fountain shine like gold. Now what you have to do is take a paper like this. Write the answers on it and in your book paste it here. Just staple it here or put a glue over here. So that whenever you turn it like this questions are here and answers are here. This way you will do it. Answers are here. You can pause the video and write down the answers. All the answers. I hope all the answers are clear to you. Now we move to the next part. This talk part we'll do in class. Next listen part also will be done in the class only. Now come to the next page, speak. Children, here speaking language, la language part is, hear the vowel sound of a, ah, like a ah in apple. It is told, it is taught about here. S uh, such as, a ah in dad, dad, cat, hand, lamb, blank, passage, fan, van, Man, gap, back, maths. These are the sounds of a. A says apple and the sound is of a. A is a. Now come to the grammar part. As we have discussed earlier also sentences. A sentence is a group of words that make complete sense or it is only a verb. It begins with a capital letter ends with a full stop, exclamation mark or a question mark. Examples are given in here. You have to check the sentences and cross the ones which are not the sentences. Elephant, animal, big. This is not a sentence, put a cross. My shoes are dusty. This is a sentence, put a tick. Squirrels are squirrels not eating. Squirrel not eating, put a cross, this is not a sentence. Dry color blue, again this is not a sentence, put a cross. Birds fly in the sky, this is a sentence. Then we have beta, four kinds of sentences, which we have not discussed yet. Four kinds of sentences are assertive, interrogative, imperative and exclamatory. Interrogative and exclamatory are very easy to identify because interrogative sentences are the sentences which ask questions and they end with a question mark. So question mark tells you that this is an interrogative sentence. And exclamatory sentences, they express strong feelings or emotions and they always end with an exclamation sign. Sometimes an exclamation sign is in between the sentence. For example, wow, what a beautiful flower or what a beautiful fountain it is. 
there should be an exclamation sign within the exclamatory sentence. If an exclamatory sign is there in a sentence, it means it is an exclamatory sentence. Assertive sentences are also very simple. Very simple statements, they are known as assertive sentences. Suppose, Sana opened the door. I went to the market. My father brought a car for me. The teacher is angry. So, this type of simple sentences are known as assertive sentences. Then we are left with imperative sentences. Imperative sentences are like requests, orders, commands. Such type of sentences are known as imperative sentences. They also end with a full stop but you have to make out whether it is an assertive sentence or an imperative. If it is a command, order, request, suggestion, then it is a and then it is an imperative sentence. Otherwise, it is an assertive sentence. Come to the next page. A part. A part. Don't write. I'll again tell you, I'll give you the answers. First one. Mother, my nose, or oh, is. You have to begin with the capital, with the letter which is in bold. So, my my mother is a nurse. Second, Rahul plays with a football, with a ball, not football, sorry. Third, it is an interrogative sentence. Where is my book? For interrogative sentences, we will put a question mark at the end. Last one, open the door. So, this is an order or command. So, it is an imperative sentence. So, for this also, what you will do? You will put a slip like this here in your book. Attach a slip like this. Fine. Make a slip, paste it here, write the answers. I'll show the answers. I'll wait for you to write. Just pause the video, write down the answers. Then come to the next part. Here you, you have to read the following sentences and write A for assertive, N for interrogative, M for imperative and X for exclamatory sentences. What an intelligent boy Amun is. Very easy. There is an exclamatory sign. So it is exclamatory sentence. Next, again very easy. A question mark is there. When do you return from school? This is a question. So this is interrogative sentence. Then we have the kite is flying high in the sky. It is neither a command nor or nor order, neither a request, nor any suggestion. So this is assertive sentence. Please give me a pen. This is a request. So and requests are imperative sentences. Next, wow, her dress is wonderful. Again, an exclamatory sign. So exclamatory sentence. Now come to C part. Some situations are given below. Read them carefully. Then write. What would you say in these situations? One is done for you. This is oral work. Your friend asks you, which is your favorite game? My favorite game is chess. Second, your elder brother helps you in doing your work. What would you say? You will simply say, thank you, brother. And next one, you and uh, thank you, brother. After saying thank you, brother, this is an emotion, sudden feeling. And for this, you will put an exclamation sign. Then you request your friend to share his or her notebook. So requesting means please share your book with me. Next, fourth, your friend is looking very happy when somebody is very happy. What would you say? You are looking very happy. Simple sentence, assertive sentence. Then, you have seen a beautiful dress at a shop. How would you, what would you say? You would say, wow, what a beautiful dress. So, exclamation sign. So, for this also, children, make a slip and paste it here. Answers are here in front of you. So, 
sometimes exclamation sign is put here sometimes here sometimes at both the places also we can put sorry fine pause the video note down the answers now come to the next part that is opposites with prefix prefix you know what is pre pre means pehle fix means fix means before the other word fix something pre pre means pehle you have to put un before the given word suppose kind unkind happy unhappy it makes the opposite now come to this part now fill in the blanks with the opposites of the words in color this is black and white i don't see the colors so i think the story is true but my mother thinks it is untrue putting un as a prefix we make it untrue sonu is comfortable on the sofa but her younger brother looks uncomfortable put un make the opposite of comfortable the room is very tidy do not throw things and make it untidy again put un and make it untidy opposite of tidy he is known to my father but unknown to me so known opposite of known is unknown by putting un prefix un we make it opposite now learn to use the dictionary this you have to do it yourself find out the meanings and write them write them down using a slip then come to the writing section here a train is given these are the help boxes you have to make a rhyming poem pinku is a mouse he lives in a little house pinku loves to climb the nearby mountain then he comes back to play near the sprinkling fountain so how mouse and house they are rhyming words mountain and fountain they are rhyming words then pinku jumps on a hard rock he is hurt and in shock rock and shock both are rhyming words pinku screams holding his tummy he yelps for help till he sees his mummy so mummy and tummy both are rhyming words mother looks at the hurt that is just a little mark she carries him home quickly before it get it gets dark so mark and dark both are rhyming words i hope you are done with the exercise work now in the next class i'll share dictation words word meanings make sentences and question answers of the chapter be ready with your english fair notebook don't forget to write in a very neat and clean handwriting put the date write write the name of the chapter it should be very clear children i have already told you you have to make two notebooks for english one english fair and one english practice this work you will be doing in your fair notebooks goodbye